Hi everybody, it's Lolly. I'm back to show you how I actually attach the paper clips to these particular uh, clip arts that I did. And you know, I've been making uh, paper clips for quite a while, and I I just love paper clips. You know, I'm an addict. So uh, <laughs> I have done various things to cover the backs. Once you glue the clip onto it, and again, I use this E6000 glue. It's my favorite. Um, because it is so permanent, you can glue something to a mirror and it would stay. So sometimes, what do you do with the back? Sometimes I have put a little piece of fun foam on there. Sometimes I have glued a little piece of felt, like in this case. Um, sometimes I've glued two objects back to back, but then you have this kind of strange, it's not even, you know, it's kind of squished together and then it's wide out here and it's awful heavy. So I was uh, looking through my uh, through my punches, and I got to thinking about this. I seem to get some of my most creative ideas when I'm lying in bed. <laughs> I don't know why that is. So let me see if I can get these apart and show you how this went. How did that happen? Okay, tangled mess here. Anyway, we'll fix that later. So I'll show you what I did. Um, I got to thinking about gluing two pieces of cardstock together but separating with a piece of foam. So all you need is, these are pre-cut uh, one inch round images that go in the little bottle, cap, bottle caps and then all you need is these little epoxy stickers. They're also for bottle cap images. I have this sticky side up, just put that on there to center it and there you go. Then I want a punch that's slightly bigger. This is one inch, so this is one and a quarter. And i just cut a couple of those. One, two, one for the front and one for the back. See? And then we'll take our E6000 and glue that on there. And I got these images on eBay. And I know some of you are really good about creating your own images. I have no idea how to do that. And Etsy is another place to look for bottle cap images. Now this is going to take a little bit to dry, usually about 10 minutes. So I'll just set that aside and start over with this one here that I've already glued ahead. I find a matching piece of foam, and I hope you can see this. I'm just laying the cardstock on there and cutting around. And I want this to be just a tiny bit smaller, the fun foam to be a tiny bit smaller than the actual cardstock. It could be exactly the same size, but I like mine just a pinch tinier. Okay, so there you go. And when it's sandwiched, it has a nice little flat look. But in order to have room for my paper clip, what I'm going to do is cut a notch in here. And I've done enough of these that I know about how wide to go. A little higher. I'm just going to cut a notch and remove that part of the foam. Oh, I didn't cut it all the way. Remove that part of the foam Oops. so that when I glue that to there and a paper clip, and put this on, there's no lump where the paper clip is because it has its own little notch. I don't know if you can see this, it has its own little notch for the paper clip to fit in. So the trick is, let's turn this upside down. See, I want it to be like that. Oh, you know what? Let me put some light colored paper here so you can see this because it's about the same color as my mat here. And you can see my mat is really messy because when I'm making paper clips, I have all sorts of stuff all over. So I'm just going to get me a little dab of, oops, E6000 in there. Put my foam in there. You notice the foam isn't perfect. I'm going to get a little extra right here where the paper clip's going to go. And obviously you don't want to put this end in there because that's going to affix to your paper or your notebook. Put that in there. And then dab more glue on the top. And a nice big blob right there on top of the paper clip. And then all you have to do is put your back on there. I'm going to turn this over. I usually go around the ends with my fingers and just line everything up. Push the paper clip in and let it set for about 10 minutes. And if you want, you could um, take some real fine ribbon or beading or something pretty around the edge. But make sure you let this dry a good 10, 15 minutes before messing with it. So that's all it is to it. And you can see that's exactly how I did the poo. He's just a bunch of um, old hole punches. So this is all paper. I did a Mickey one as well. So that's it. I hope that explains it all. And I hope uh, 
that's very helpful to you. Thank you for watching.